U.S. says its support for Israel in the war against Hamas is ironclad, but still the Biden administration urging Israel to do more to protect civilian lives. Skylar Henry has this report from the White House. Hamas released a new video showing three of the 129 hostages it's holding. Hamas says it will not negotiate their return until the fighting stops. Israel says the fighting will not stop until the hostages are safe. By the end of the war, as long as it takes, we need to make sure that we have our hostages back, that we eliminate the Hamas abilities. Israeli leaders met with U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin Monday. He reiterated American support for Israel in its war against Hamas, but the U.S. wants Israel to do more for the civilians caught in the crossfire. We will also continue to urge the protection of civilians during conflict and to increase the flow of humanitarian aid into Gaza. Secretary Austin said America is not trying to dictate timelines for Israel's military, but the U.S. is still urging Israel to quickly reach the next phase of its war. We also have some great thoughts about um, how to transition from high intensity operations to a lower intensity and more surgical operations. Israel says they are working to clear Hamas out of Gaza bit by bit. In every area uh, where we achieve our mission, we will be able to uh, transition gradually uh, to the next phase and start working uh, on bringing back local population. Israel says it has no plans to control Gaza when the war is over. And while the fighting in South Gaza continues, the threat from Hezbollah attacks in the north of Israel are still on the rise.